Hi there, it's Nicole for Hero Arts with the August 2017 My Monthly Hero Card Kit. I've created a set of three cards today using components from the main card kit. I'm using the 6x8 stamp set, the coordinating frame cuts dies, and then the metallic blueberry and gold shimmer sprays that are included in the kit. I'm gonna pair this with some other inking for a mostly flat card with some die cut clouds there on the surface, but there's tons of layering going on here just to create these backgrounds so that it's these awesome night skies with silhouette images. I'm gonna start with some Bristol Smooth cardstock and I'm going to apply a combination of peacock feathers, faded jeans, and black soot distress oxide inks onto both of these backgrounds. I've already created the one card, kind of the um, guinea pig, the inspiration for the rest of these. I knew I wanted to use multiple images from the stamp set. I absolutely love these stamps. So amazing. And it's a little bit rough. When you first ha do the inking here, the inks are not blended well together. You're really just laying down the color and getting full coverage over this entire background. This is gonna be the base for the whole night sky. Then I'm gonna go back and blend the faded jeans into the black soot. I'm going to blend peacock feathers into the rest of it until it's just a super good blend. Now a lot of this is gonna get covered up but this is the base. You need a really good base because while some of it is going to be covered with the sprays that I'm gonna be using, you need this base of awesome colors for a really beautiful night sky. Once the color is completely all over the surface of these two pieces of paper, I am going to apply the metallic blueberry ink to the background and I'm gonna kind of spray it up from that bottom right corner. I'll do one at a time here and I, you wanna shake them up really good and I'm just gonna spray this right on my background and then kind of up in that upper left corner. Messy is better. It is a liquid so it is the Distress Oxide inks that were applied first will react with the liquid product here. I let it sit for just a little bit and then I simply went in and blotted it dry with a paper towel. I also spritzed it with that gold shimmer spray. I just wanna gently blot it. It's gonna help it dry faster, but it's got an awesome shimmer now to it and then that fantastic blue, which is just so, so pretty. So I went ahead and did that again. They're all similar, but they're all gonna be a little bit different because no two are gonna be exactly alike. I think it's almost better if you let it sit for about 60 seconds. Um, that first one that I just showed you, I blotted it dry right away. The second one, I let it sit for a little longer and I really think I almost like that a little bit better, but it really doesn't matter. Once this is pretty well dry, I'm gonna take a white opaque paint get it nice and watered down and take a small tipped paintbrush and I am simply flicking white droplets all over the background. What I wanna do is create a galaxy, night sky, really awesome background for what I'm gonna be stamping on top of it, if that makes sense. There's gonna be a ton of stamping and embossing that goes on top of this, but these are the bases of the design. At this point, you can either let it air dry completely, or I was in a little bit of a hurry, I wanted to get these done, I'm gonna hit them with a heat tool. But at the, you really need to make sure that all that ink, all that paint, the sprays are completely dry because I wanna do some stamping with Versamark ink and do some embossing. And that embossing powder is going to stick to anything that is wet. So there can't be anything wet at this point. I even flipped them over and dried the back this kind of helps the paper dry really well. And I think I misspoke earlier. I think I said that this was Bristol Smooth. It's not. It is a watercolor cardstock from Canson. Um, so it's a really nice thick paper for all of the inking that's going to be going on. So I really made sure that these were good and dry. And from there, 
I am going to be using my MISTI to stamp the silhouette images on the background. I've also got some um, like little shooting stars and all these great little awesome night sky images that I want to stamp. I am going to go ahead and stamp these first I, before I do the silhouettes. The silhouette kind, kind of need to know where that's going to go before you stamp anything else, but I am stamping those two images I just showed you with Versamark ink, and I'm gonna sprinkle on some platinum embossing powder and then heat set that. This is gonna give an awesome kind of matte, silverish type of look, a platinum look, to the background. I thought too much white would be really overpowering. There's the white splatters already. I wanna do some white embossing for the greeting. I wanna do white embossing for some of the other little shooting star images. So I did two-tone for my embossing. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that silhouette image. I'm using the Misty in the event that it doesn't stamp really dark the first time. I wanted the ability to stamp it again if I needed to because that image needs to be a nice solid black. Then I stamped the greeting. I want to make sure that that takes prominence. I stamped that with Versamark and heat set that with the white embossing powder. So the night sky image is really starting to take shape. From here it's simply filling in with the additional images. All three cards were created the same. I just used different silhouette silhouetted children images on each and a different greeting on each, but they are all white embossed greetings, black silhouette images against this night sky background. These are some of the images that are going to be stamped and embossed with white now. You can see that overlap. I love the overlap of the two embossing powders. It really builds that night sky image, adds tons of interest, is super fun. Just a really cool look. This is an amazing card kit. I just can't get over it. It's got so many fun components. The add-ons are amazing. I'll be sharing some additional ideas with those in my newsletter um, that comes from my, uh, if you subscribe to my blog, just fantastic, fantastic images. I really love all of these. So once I have all of my layering done, I have all of the night sky images where I want them to go, I need some clouds. And I've got some vellum paper here that I'm going to stamp a couple of the cloud images. I want a trio of clouds for each card. And these are a pretty solid image, the clouds I'm using. There's also an outline if you don't want quite as much coverage. But I'm going to stamp those with Versamark on vellum and then heat set white embossing powder on top. This is going, is one of my favorite things. I love white embossing on vellum. And this is going to be really the only component that is dimensional on my cards, even with all of the different layers that are going on on the background. I'm gonna die cut the vellum using the coordinating die. And then I'm gonna run these through a Xyron sticker maker and it's going to add a clear layer of, ad of adhesive all over the back, which is going to be an easy, easy way to attach these to my card. So a couple of the clouds are going to kind of be down here near where the fishing line that little boy is holding. So it looks like he's fishing into the clouds then one kind of up near the top. So two of the clouds on each card are kind of overlapping just a little bit, and then one is kind of somewhere else. So a trio of each on all three cards. The last thing I did was I decided this is an A2 sized panel. I trimmed it down to about five and a quarter by four inches so that on e when I attached it to a white top fold card base, there would be a thin white border all the way around. That mats it up, it frames it up really nicely and offsets all the white embossing on the card. So I'll attach this to my white top fold card base. I always like to score it with a Teflon bone folder to make sure it has a nice crease. I'll place some adhesive on that, pop my panel in place, and that is gonna finish up these night sky cards 
with the silhouette images. All of the components here are from the August 2017 My Monthly Hero card kit. Thanks for joining me today. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos that you might be interested in showcasing Hero Arts stamps and dies. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.